What's up, YouTube? It's CTZ Wolf, and I think this is my first video. Make uh, on 2K17, you know, live stream like last year, and I haven't made a video period since uh last month. Um, that but that was on a whole different game. So I just want to fix up the confusion on uh 2K17. I'm my, I'm probably gonna be making some more tutorials or whatever, but I just want to fix the uh, confusion for the people that was that was like puzzled like me. So, you, so this video is about how you get the Shark Creator Pro or a Grand Badge for Shark Creator. A lot of people have been saying that you need all five uh all five of your badges on Hall of Fame. That's not true at all. You just need to have uh, overall 86, 87, or 88. Or more than that. You just can't have less than that 86 or 87. See, look. So I'm going to go to my badges. Uh, shoot. I forgot which one. Wait. Oh, my bad. I do this. Okay, I got to. You know. So this is how you check your badges. See, I got a Shot Creator Pro. But as you can see, I only got difficult shots on Hall of Fame, and only and the rest of my badges are uh gold. I don't even got teardropper. You see teardropper? No. Okay, you don't see. See this? All right. So this is how you get the badge. So uh, to make it easier to get to kill two birds with one stone, you can get a uh, tireless score on Hall of Fame. So what you want to do? And make it easier try to get the uh, fast break and when you get it so let's say you got fast break or this couldn't be fast break just run around you know if it's not fast break pass so you only get a ball so you don't like ball like holding the ball too long get it back keep running once you run out of stamina you want to press square and shoot it when someone is on you so because to get the grand badge you need to activate two badges at the same time and so you'll be activating difficult shots and um and tower score so what you gotta do run out of energy and to do the spin jumper you wanna double tap square and shoot it and you are gonna see like a little clip of it of me getting a green badge when I was playing the all star game this right here oops alright See, I got to plan that one. You know, it was worth it. And I was happy because, um, people kept saying you need all five badges Hall of Fame. And I didn't want Teardropper because that was a waste of time. And it ain't that easy to get Inkleberger Hall of Fame. But I'm going to try to get that too. And, and it's kind of hard to get, diff uh, not difficult, uh, uh, mid range dead eye, but I think the badge you really need to have on Hall of Fame is uh, difficult shots since your grand badge for a shot creator is like upgraded version of uh, difficult shots. So, all you got to do is just dribble a little bit and just shoot when you activate it. Like, when you hot, your badge will show up and you'll make it. And this jump shot I got, I'll probably make a video on that too because like I don't even be missing no more. And it's hard to block it because I got an old school jump shot mixed with uh, another jump shot because I got a jump shot creator option, whatever. And back then they used to shoot ugly, but it was like hard to block. Alright, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and comment down below and tell me if this video helped you or not. It's going to take a while, so don't give up. Alright.